For over 50 years I've been working in the science of crop production and my passion has always been about increasing wildlife alongside profitable agriculture. In this series I'll be exploring practical ways that farmers can reduce their carbon footprint, make best use of pesticides and help bring wildlife back to their farms. Recently we've seen an increased interest in farmland biodiversity. The supply chain are now asking farmers to demonstrate their commitment to increasing farmland biodiversity. But how do we monitor this farmland biodiversity? I'm on a farm in Oxfordshire to meet Tom August from the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, who's going to show me how we can do this monitoring and why it's so important. Hi, Tom. Hey, Mac. How are you? Doing? Tell me something, how can farmers monitor all this biodiversity? So there's a range of methods we would use to traditionally monitor biodiversity. For example, walking lines through habitats like this, counting the butterflies and the bees that you see, or setting out little water traps which would collect yes. insects, and then yeah. we'd take them back to the lab and analyze them. Both these approaches require quite a bit of expertise in the identification. Well, they're cumbersome too, aren't they, really? Yeah, and it's quite expensive. So I'm yeah. here today to talk to you about a new app we've developed, which right. is this computer vision to try and make this easier for farmers to do themselves. The eSurveyor app is a free to download app, which you can get on your Android and your Apple phone. Yeah. And it allows you to identify all the flowers that occur in the various wildlife habitats you have on a farm. And by understanding... Well, just by photographing them? That's right, yeah. So it uses the latest AI right. to take a photo of a plant and then it'll suggest what plant species that is. All right, let's have a look at this little yellow flower here. So if I want to identify this plant, I pull out the app and I open up my camera and I'm going to take a picture of the plant here. So here it's got uh, uh, some suggestions, two species of birds for trefoil, this is birds for trefoil. Not only that, we can also bring up a report which is going to tell us how many insects are supported by this flower. So earlier today I took a picture of all the plants in this little patch here. Right. And I click on the report here, you can see that we're supporting over 170 species of insects on our margin. It's telling me that there's some insects here they are going to be eating the pests of seals and grains which we have growing in the fields just here. So you can see immediately the benefit that this margin is having for farmers in terms of protecting their, their crops. So it's gone way beyond just taking a picture and giving you a name then? Yeah, absolutely. We can also see this, the, the pollinator species that it's supporting, so the butterflies and the bees. A farmer armed with that can actually see and measure the success that's been created on their farm. Tom, that's amazing. What a piece of technology. Let's go and photograph some more flowers. <laughs> 